Jenny Bates, you are the London campaigner for Friends of the Earth. Uh, thanks for joining us here at Runways UK. Now, we seem to be uh, really, you know, the government certainly seems to be embracing infrastructure as a key uh, to economic growth. Um, yet, are we really uh, delivering this infrastructure in a way which can be done sustainably, uh, which doesn't increase the impact on the Earth? Well, often not. Um, often we don't do it adequately and, and properly and sustainable development is supposed to be the key principle underpinning planning mm -hmm. and yet you, you often find that, that alternatives are not properly looked at um, and yet you know the, the three pillars, the main pillars of um, developing a sustainable economy mm -hmm. are supposed to go together with building a just society and living within our environmental limits. So it's when those things aren't properly considered together in a way that you would get a win-win-win mm -hmm. solution that we have problems. Yeah. So you know there are ways of finding solutions mm -hmm. that, that can that can put all those three things together. Yeah, yeah. which of course is, is engineering consultants is uh, the, the whole infrastructure. Uh, 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 sector really talks a lot nowadays about sustainability, uh, uh, lower carbon solutions as being key to really delivering uh, really good infrastructure solutions. You know, it sounds like we're not quite there yet. No, not at all, because if you're just thinking, right, we want to build a new runway, and how can mm -hmm. we make that as sustainable as possible? That's not the, that's not the right, right way round. Right. It's, you know, we have to look at what is the problem, and mm -hmm. this is supposed to be in planning, mm -hmm. you know, and then what is the best way? Are there better ways to do that? Or if you want to build a new road or a bridge, are there better ways to achieve the, you know, supposed economic development that, that the, those sort of schemes are cited to, right. to supposedly produce? Mm -hmm. and, and often those haven't been the case. Um, like if, if for instance in East London there's a package of river crossings that mm -hmm. the Transport for London are looking at they haven't looked at a proper package of non-road non-vehicle options right, yeah. so it, it's that sort of thing and, and with, with, with runways you know ha, has the need really been looked at mm. adequately um, well I suppose the, 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 the argument that would be put is that um, uh, an additional runway at Heathrow uh, reduces the amount of stacking which happens above Heathrow, therefore reduces the amount of fuel that's burned. A, a scheme like High Speed 2 um, really it, it, it reduces the amount of traffic and freight that's on the roads. So there are these, these kind of quite big well, and complex arguments. And things like con you know, traffic congestion is often mm. cited, well we need a new road because we need to, to solve that particular bit of congestion. Yeah. But And certainly if you've got traffic that's, that's moving, it's better than traffic that isn't moving. Yeah. But overall if you're generating more traffic, you're generating actually worse congestion in the area yeah. and also worse air pollution. And and it's things like on, on the runways thing, you know, the air pollution, um, it, it's something that's sort of considered in, in Davis, he mm -hmm. said basically as long as as long as air pollution isn't from Heathrow isn't delaying compliance, but right. that is not adequate. Mm -hmm. It's about the fact that the whole zone has to comply mm -hmm. and we shouldn't, because we have failed to meet our limits so badly, we really have to make sure yeah. that we don't add anything. All the schemes mm -hmm. that have been talked about as mitigation for, for third runway, all the congestion charge, the mm -hmm. extra public transport, those are all things we have to be doing anyway because we're in a situation where right. we have to meet limits yeah. as soon as possible. But you're, not, but you're not saying build nothing. What you're saying is if you're going to build something, to make sure it's appropriate and make sure that it has the right mitigation behind it. No, no, I'm not. I'm actually saying in some circumstances we may not be able to build anything at all right. in the, in certain places because of the air pollution um, limits being such that we right. fail to meet them. Mm -hmm. So we cannot add anything. I think we have to, to take away and cut pollution in all possible ways at mm -hmm. the moment where they would be exceeding and not add to them if you've got a, back to a position where mm -hmm. you're you're within your EU l legal limits for air pollution, you may be able to add and then fully mitigate and then you've got an air quality right. neutral. But the general principle of sustainable development should be that yes, if you if you have solutions that, that respect your environmental limits mm -hmm. as well as building a just society, then you know developing yeah. the economy is, is the right way to go. Do you think we're, make, do you think we're moving forward? Because obviously Friends of the Earth has been around quite a long while, but uh, yeah. do you think we're moving forward? Do you think, I mean, certainly the industry seems to uh, be uh, much more embracing uh, of the environment. It has to be more embracing of the mm. environment. Do you, do you think from where you sit that we're, we're moving forward? 
Oh, it's a hard one, isn't it? I mean, yeah, yes and no, backwards and forwards, I think. I mean, you know, we were in a terrible situation with climate change. The, you know, the, the, we're not on track to meet our limits. As I say, we failed to meet our air pollution targets. So in, in lots of ways, no, but in lots, in some ways, there is some growing understanding only because it's getting sort of 11th hour mm -hmm. and it shouldn't have to be like that. Um, so that, that's, a, that's a shame, but you know, um, we just have to properly respect Respect, yeah. you know, everything has to fit within the, the planet. We have yeah. to fit within those environmental yeah. limits. And it's good for business, you know. Yeah. Nobody wants to live or work in London when it's a filthy, polluted city or, or, or you know, live under yeah. the flight path. It doesn't attract people to London. No, what well, I think uh, is it, there's certainly some hugely challenging issues out there. And uh, I think it's very important that uh, people like yourselves are there making, is make it, making the points you make and I suppose keeping us all uh, aware of, uh, of, of, the, of the implications. So thanks for joining us. Today. Thank you. Thanks, Jenny.